Last year, DJI came out with their Avada drone, which I believe was one of the most successful products they've ever announced. It was super well received and it was overall a fantastic choice for any beginner wanting to try FPV. Well, now they came with another version of this drone, or should I say another bundle, because the drone itself is exactly the same, but we have this Explorer combo right here, which comes with new improved accessories, meaning the RC Motion Controller 2 and the new goggles Integra, which are inside this package, and I want to tell you a little bit more about. So like I said, the drone itself is exactly the same. It's exactly the same thing that we've seen before. No improvements have been made to this drone. And I personally believe it should be kept like this. I've already tried putting the Axis flying motors on the drone uh, that I had earlier. And overall, it is a good upgrade to this drone. However, it's not something that I would recommend to the beginners to do because you might encounter some ESC problems. You might damage uh, some of the internal components of this drone and overall you're not gaining that much so you can risk uh, you know the the whole drone and, and in that operation of switching the motors for the axis flying motors so overall I think the drone in its essence is great and should be kept like this I don't like the fact that people put GoPros on top of it. I don't like putting additional accessories on it. Maybe some props would be okay, but other than that, I feel like this drone is good as it is. And if you're looking for a more powerful drone or you're looking for a Cineop that can hold a GoPro, maybe this is not it. Uh, but still, I think this is a fantastic choice as it is without any additional modifications. We already know the camera capabilities and the flying performance of the Vara, so I will leave that aside because I want to focus a little bit more on the two new accessories that I talked about, the RC Motion Controller 2 and the DJI Goggles Integra. So let's start with the goggles first, and I have the goggles Integra here in my hands, and the first thing you will notice if immediately is the fact that we have a brand new headband with an integrated battery here on the back side and it comes with this really soft foam for the back side of your head and this mechanism to loosen or tighten the whole band so it fits better on your head. I would say that it's very very convenient to have this mechanism here and to not have to worry about dangling cables and you know, power cables, batteries, all sorts of things that usually are, you know, it's a little bit stressful sometimes to, to keep forgetting about because you might damage your goggles if you forget the battery uh, in your pocket, for example, or somewhere else. Uh, here, you don't have to worry about that. You just need to turn on the goggles, you put it on your head and you're ready to go and you don't have any power cables or anything dangling around. So it's super convenient to have. I'm just not sure about the battery life in the long run uh, when you use this for a long period of time. I'm not sure how damaging it will be for the battery if you want to replace it, how easy it is. But hopefully it's not that bad because you have four screws here. So uh, I assume it's very easy to open and replace. Hopefully DJI can take care of that if you need to. But DJI states that this operates up to three hours, I believe. So uh, should be fine for a day of shooting in case you need more, then I'm not really sure what you need to do. Uh, you need probably a power bank or something like that to connect to the goggles. So this is probably the only thing that I don't like about the integrated battery. Uh, it would have been great if it's hot swappable, but with this uh, new headband, it's really easy to uh, to use the goggles now and it's just a lot more convenient. On the front, we have the same design as the usual goggles too. We have a built-in GPS module here though, uh, which you don't see, but it's somewhere here in the middle of the goggles. And if you want to comply with remote ID in the US, for example, you don't have to plug your phone to the goggles anymore. It's taken care of automatically with these goggles Integra and because of that built-in GPS module, so that's great. Besides that, we have a simplified way to adjust your lenses here. Um, 
previously it was a twist and lock mechanism, uh, but now it's just uh, a push and a slide mechanism. Uh, and that goes uh, the same way for the lenses, which are not adjustable anymore. You have some additional accessories that you can attach if you are using glasses, for example, but straight away coming out of the box, they are not adjustable as the usual goggles too. You also have a micro SD card slot here right in the middle of the goggle and you don't have the touch panel anymore, which used to be here on the right hand side of the goggles. Now it's just um, power indicator and it's empty on the other side as well. So you, the only way to control this is by using this joystick button here right here, and you have a back button right behind it. Additionally, there are a couple of other features that have been removed on the Integra goggles, and they are the wireless string function, the dot matrix display, the speaker, and the 3.5 millimeter audio port. Of course, with so many features being removed, the goggles Integra are also a little bit cheaper compared to the original goggles too. So if you're looking for a good alternative that is also a little bit cheaper, then maybe this is a good buy for you. Next, we have the brand new RC motion controller too. And I have to say, I was a big fan of the original motion controller. It was a really fun and engaging way of learning how to control your drone or to just have fun with it if you already know how to control your drone with a remote. For me, as a person who has a little bit more experience from the past, it was just something new to try out and it was fun. I showed it to a couple of my friends and it was just really fun and engaging to, to fly in that way, especially if you don't have to worry about flying in manual mode or if, you're, if you give that to a person who has never flown before, it's also very intuitive for them to get to learn the controls and it's very easy and fun. So now with this new motion controller too, we have a couple of new improvements that I really like. I didn't feel like I needed those, those improvements, but here they are and I think they make a lot of sense. So now on this trigger here on the back, we have this uh, hole for your, for your uh, finger where you can, you, you can press and the drone will of course uh, move forward. This is your accelerator, but if you move it back like this, if you press it on the other side, it will fly backwards. This is not something that I've been missing because I've never needed to fly my FPV drone backwards. Uh, but since you have the Vara here, which can hold its position and it has this normal or sport uh, mode where it stays in the air um, and just hovers when you let go of, of the joystick, it's pretty convenient to have in some situations, although you're flying blindly, so you have to be aware of your surroundings anyway, but it's good to have if you need it. So to fly forward, you can press it like this or you can press it like this. It's really up to you. And of course, if you press it like this, it will fly backwards. So this is one of the biggest changes that they introduced for this motion controller too but that's not the only one. We have a new function button here on the side, which is now a rotational, rotating button or rotating, yeah, it rotates, <laughs> you get the point and you can also press it. And that uh, is usable and useful for changing your camera settings when you're in the menus, so you can do that. You have the record button here just under that. And we have this new joystick here, which was uh, which was not here before, it was just a flat button. And now we have this joystick, which is super convenient to have when you prime your motors and they're spinning, you can just press up on the joystick and the drone will uh, go up and start hovering. Uh, so this is really convenient to, to just uh, draft or drift, <laughs> drift the drone in, in different directions. So you can easily just um, adjust the, the position of the drone by pressing on this uh, joystick or of course you can use the motion controller like this to uh, turn with your drone and of course navigate through the space. So this motion controller is like I said perfect for beginners and it couldn't be more perfect for my wife who has zero FPV experience, she's not a gamer and she's not into tech that much usually. So uh, she was brand new to trying something like this and it took her exactly 
10 minutes to get used to the controls. Uh, it was very straightforward for, for her to understand how to operate this and how to fly the Avada. It was her very, very, very first time flying an FPV drone with goggles on. It was a brand new experience. It was a lot of fun to share that experience with her. With this, uh, you can actually really share the experience. And even if you are good at flying FPV, you have a remote controller, you can just buy this and give it to your friends who are new to the hobby and who maybe haven't tried it before without actually worrying that they will break your drone because this is pretty safe. And uh, of course, if you instruct them properly, if you let them know how this thing works, it's actually super fun to, to see their reaction and see their, you know, their, their first time trying this hobby and their first uh, impressions and, and how much fun they, they will have. So here you can see her very, very first time flying the Avada and an FPV drone in general, very first time trying the motion controller too. And she was just starting out, trying out how the drone operates, learning how it moves around in the space and just seeing how it turns, how much speed it picks up and just trying it out for the very first time. So by the time the battery got to, let's say 40 or 30%, just when you, you need to start thinking about landing soon. She was already brave enough to kind of come closer or to start uh, following me. She was, you know, brave enough to, to think that she can do it or to even hit some small gaps. So uh, it, it's, it's really nice to see that it doesn't take that long for a beginner to, to get into things. And even if you have zero experience with gaming or FPV in general, you can still do it because it's not rocket science. So uh, it's, it's great fun and a lot of enjoyment for me and hopefully for her as well. Uh, she told me it was for her as well. So yeah, we'll definitely repeat it soon. So this bundle is something that I would recommend for anyone looking to get into FPV without really being sure if it's for them. Uh, or if you are into FPV already and you want to share that experience with someone without really having to go through all the steps necessary to learn FPV because FPV is quite, you know, it's quite challenging. And with this, it's not as challenging anymore. It's quite easy to get into, especially with the motion controller, because you don't have to worry about manual controls and manual flying or camera controls. Everything is, you know, decided for you for from the drone. So you really just need to enjoy it and kind of operate it in a very easy and convenient way. So I think this combo is great for anyone looking to share the experience or get into that experience themselves and, and start flying FPV. With that being said, guys, this is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It's been a pleasure. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.